Well, with each passing week, we're certainly starting to edge closer to what will be another very exciting Miracle Mile Carnival. Lots of chariots of fire on the 19th of February and the Miracle Mile itself on the 5th of March. It's going to be very exciting times for my next guest as well. Not only does he have a live chance of gaining an entry into the chariots of fire, he's also been walking down the aisle. Of course, that guest is David Morris. Well, as, as I mentioned, exciting times ahead for the Morris family, not only with double act performing the way he is, and we'll talk about him shortly, but also this on again, off again wedding is back on again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We've had to postpone once before. Um, it's been a long time coming. We've been engaged for, uh, for six years now, and uh, uh, hopefully in about six weeks' time, everything will go to plan and we'll, we'll end up being married. And no doubt it will be one of the social highlights of the Miracle Mile Carnival. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway, it's probably the most expensive part. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, we won't get too far ahead of ourselves. Double Act has been going great guns. He's had seven stars now for five wins. We are talking about Tuesday races mainly, but he's very impressive. He is very impressive. Like you said, it is only Tuesday um, races that he's going in at the moment. Um, but the way he is performing in those Tuesday races and the times that he is running, it's very exciting times coming ahead. Um, he's always been a really nice horse. He has had a few little issues and little hiccups in, on, the, on the way, but hopefully that's all in the past now and hopefully we don't have to look back. And as we know, David, if the horse has got the talent, Harry Martin, his trainer, will make sure he produces. 100%. Harry does a marvellous job. Um, he, he works hard. He, he just he knows how to get a horse going anyway. And he's a very good uh, uh, mentor. He's one of those people you just go to and always ask for advice. He's terrific to me. And what's your gut feeling about the horse? Uh, I've always said he was a freak from day one. Um, but... You know, I've been wrong before, but hopefully, hopefully he doesn't prove me wrong. He's uh, at the moment he's doing everything um, perfect. I um, I did say to to connections uh, when I come off the track the other day. I said I reckon if I really pushed him, I probably could have broke the 50. Um, but there was probably no need to when you're 20 metres in front of the rest of the field. Why? There's there's bigger fish to fry. Exactly. Look after him, as you said, for those bigger races leading up to the uh, Chariots of Fire. Well, you've got three drives at Club and Angle on Tuesday afternoon. Now, your son, Riley, is one up on you. He's won the first of the Mini Trotters tonight. You're here with your other son, Cody. I don't think Cody's going to say too much, but he's <laughs> making his first appearance. But how do you feel about in race three, number one, double lines for Harry Martin? Uh, we've got the good barrier draw. I think we drew one. I, uh, he had his first trial back from a bit of a spell um, on last Wednesday. Trialled quite good. Um, I was happy with him. Um, one of those things we're probably just going to need a bit of racing fitness under his belt. Um, yeah, we've got a good barrier to draw to go with it anyway. So hopefully a bit of luck. Over to race four, nicely drawn race uh, four, number three. We will hail Caesar, trained by the boss, the Flippiart. Uh, one here and then last time out over race went very keenly didn't have no like a golden yeah that's right uh it, it is half owned by the boss as well too and a, a close friend of mine called uh chris co he's uh he's new on the scene he's a good mate of mine um fresh blood into the game and just he, he loves the horses uh he's very keen on them at the moment it was just a little cheapy we bought and uh we're fortunate enough that we had uh sean grayling did do the steering first up um he drove it to perfection only just one um, I did drive it the, the following start, uh, probably drove him a little bit too aggressive but like you said he did get a bit keen, he over raced, there was a false start, um, he should have probably still gone a little bit better than what he actually did in that race but um, uh, this little bugger just farted on me arm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, he should, still should have gone better at Goulburn, didn't. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll probably just drive him a little bit cold on, um, on, on Tuesday, change a little bit, bit of gear on him, and uh, hopefully he'll be all right. I don't know whether that's good luck for him or good luck for you. <laughs> now, over, <laughs> over to race five, and number five, Louis. Now, you know something about this horse. You won for him with uh, for Ross Adams, his trainer, and then last time out, you defeated him. A very game performance by Louis, but also by double act. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Um, uh, Louis is very nice. He, he, he's, um, I think he's only very lightly raced. Uh, I drove him about, oh, probably about six weeks ago at the trials at Penrith. Uh, he galloped going into the first turn and lost a bit of ground and caught up to him and when I let him I catch up, caught up to the field, I just let him stroll around. He ended up sitting outside him and blew him away in the trial and then he won first up here for me, uh, well for Ross Adams. Um, I did drive him, I was sat in front pretty easy, 
um, very promising. Um, and then cousin Robbie drove him last uh, Tuesday and I sat outside him with double act. And uh, I will say double act was probably a little bit underdone due to the Christmas break. Um, he hadn't had a start for about three weeks beforehand. Um, but he did, Louis definitely put in a massive fight. Um, I, I would have hated to have actually been another 20 metres of the race because I reckon he probably would have kicked back and got me because I went past him by about a metre and a half and he run me down to a nose again. Blowing him away is probably a, an appropriate term to use under the circumstances. <laughs> so, so going off that, David, we would suggest Louis is the better of your drives? Uh, Louis is probably definitely the better of my drives on Tuesday, definitely, yes. Well, David, good luck on Tuesday with those drives, but also good luck moving forward with Double Act. I know he's part owner, Peter Gatsby, he's extremely excited, and also with the upcoming wedding. Yes, that's right, um, and, and Peter Gatsby and Connections, I will give them a bit of a shout-out. They've been absolutely unbelievable for me. Uh, very loyal, very loyal, and I couldn't thank them enough. So thank you for the, for the ride, I really appreciate it.